Oh, I'm about to watch that. Yeah. Today is Wednesday. Pump day. Just want to say thank you, brothers and sisters out there who got prayers for your family members. You know, so I try and wake up every morning at 5 o'clock and pray. Sometimes I get up at 3, sometimes 4. But my day is filled with prayer, you know. Trying to make my mind and my body have balance and harmony within within each other when I'm healing from the spinal abscess. So it's kind of it's kind of tricky at times because like yesterday I went walking up the football field, the track, the road's a little rugged, and I fell. You know because I was trying to off road the track. I made it halfway around the track, man, but the road just got bad. And I fell. I was discouraged, man. I was pissed. The sun was beating down on me. I was just wore down, man. You know, I was thinking, shit. So I tried to get up in my chair. I broke my handle on my walker. Now I gotta buy a new walker. Break. But to me, it seems like there's one frustration after another. You know, my walker, my wheelchair, my leg gave up. I had to get a new KFO. So now. I got me reevaluating my situation, man. So now I'm thinking about trying to just get it done, man. Pray hard that things work and I start walking, you know. That's all I want to do, man, is live my life and pray. I have that life within balance and harmony, you know, so I can. You know, make these prayers for these people, for all the people, and pray that you know, miracles happen. So today, I thank you, brothers and sisters out there. I ask you, God, should I guide me in my prayer? Every day, it's the same prayers, you know. Praying for people out there that are sick, people that have terminal cancers, you know. I want my prayers to be strong so that they can heal. We can, we've done it before, we can do it again. And I just want these brothers to know I don't go and tell them. But they're in my prayers, you know. I'm not one of these brothers that go out there and brag and brag. I want to help people, you know. I want to help heal people. But I can't do it unless I'm healed. So I got 405 days I was told to heal. So today is another day down. And I'm working towards that 405. Don't say next year about this time. Well, that's it, too. Should be in good shape, you know. My weight got a little big, you know, like 230, maybe 240. But I don't care, man. I'm able to stand on my legs. I couldn't do that before. So now I can walk. Yesterday I was tired. I didn't just wanted to cry, but my strength is coming. And my mind is I'm setting my mind for that humblecha, for that sun dance. I'm going to be out there for four days, or maybe four days, two to four days, you know, so. I, when, if I was walking, I would dance for four days. You know, that's my strength, my power right there, man. Where I get my medicine from these Wakians, the Tukashians, 405 white stone calf helpers that are out there. Each day I pray that each and every one of them helps me, works for me. You know, to bring miracles to my people so that we may all heal. So my prayer today is that you guys honor your prayers, your commitments. Walk that red road. Remember the elders that have gone before us. They've given their life so that we are able to practice these ways. The blood that flows in our veins flows from great war chiefs, great people. So we should always honor that and be happy who we are. You know, we're not blacks. We're not that can't be, you know, we're not anybody that we can't, we're not trying to be. I just want your brothers to know, you know, you are who you are, you is who you is, and you ain't who you ain't. And remember that you are Lakota, Lakota, Omani, yellow. You walk the Indian road, the Indian way of life is who we are and who we become. Through our trials and tribulations, we learn from our mistakes. And being able to say, Tungashila, help me. 
become a better man. And so that's who we will become. And I ask that one day, if your brothers can hear me and see me walking out there, and praying for the people. You know? So, I love this song. Helps me to get my mind focused. Cola, me and cha, wa oh and oh, hey. Thank you for this day you've given me, Grandfather. I will not go back to the way I lived my life in the past. Drugs, alcohol, wild women. I have a beautiful woman now who's there for me. I have guidance. I have a foundation in my life where I'm planning on going. I know where I need to go with my journey. It, it, it is the red road. So today, thank you, Grandfather, for the things that you have shown me in a hard way I've learned from my mistakes. And I am sorry that I have faltered and fallen, but I have gotten back up. I will not give up. So, Pilamaya Abel. 